Time for another stupid memes video. Dear bigots, if you can separate Christians from the KKK, you can separate Muslims from ISIS. Signed, Sane Albertans. First of all, it's not... Sane Albertans is not a big demographic. Second of all, you don't have to separate Christians from the KKK. They are a Christian organization. And that's something that their religion should deal with. And third of all, separating Muslims from ISIS isn't hard. There are Muslims who are not in ISIS. <laughs> what you're not acknowledging is that there are Muslims who are in ISIS. They are not polar groups, not Muslims over here and ISIS over here. ISIS is an Islamic organization. It's the first I in their name. Rather than denying that, let's admit it. Let's talk about it openly. Or, or let's share stupid memes about it. It's frustrating to see how all hate is being treated as though it were equal. The whole rhetoric of you're becoming the hate you oppose so much, but it's not that simple. Not all hate can be viewed equally. A woman hates her abuser for how she was treated. Her abuser hates her for existing as a woman. We cannot treat the hate of the victims as the same thing as the hatred they face. Well, I mean, first of all, what would Jesus do? Second of all, it's just, it's not the solution. Even, even to dive into this metaphor, a woman hating her abuser isn't the solution. Getting away from her abuser is, obviously. But the hatred, I'd like, if an abused person just starts fighting back physically, they're not solving the problem. They're just, for lack of, well, for fear of sounding like Darth Vader, they're just embracing their hatred. And complex problems need complex solutions, and there's nothing complex about rioting and hatred. After some of the sickening comments I've seen this morning, I want to take a minute to remind people how ISIS, who have claimed responsibility for the arena attack works. ISIS takes young, poor, beaten down Muslim kids, kids who have spent their whole lives being bullied and hated and downtrodden by the reactionary spite and cowardly prejudice. They whisper in the ear and just blah 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 blah. No, that isn't true. ISIS recruits by showing people martyrdom, heroism, by talking about the inevitable victory of Islam. And I, I love this. <laughs> you empower ISIS to create these brainwashed individuals. It is through your hate that their, li their hate thrives. You are ISIS. You are the enemy. But yes, anyone critical of Islam is just is the enemy, is ISIS. The ISIS has no other tactics. The actual profile of people who are leaving Europe to go fight for ISIS is someone educated, they're usually a second generation immigrant, they're usually educated, they're usually kind of secular and kind of adrift, and they find an identity in a connection to radical Islam. All the 9-11 terrorists were educated in Germany before flying planes into buildings on behalf of Al-Qaeda. And furthermore, if it were true that anti-Muslim bigotry was the cause of radical Islam, then 20, 30 years ago, when just no one was thinking about radical Islam, no one was thinking about Muslims, why was the undercurrent starting then? Why was hatred for the West growing before the West ever gave a shit about Islam? So, no, it's, it's a completely false narrative to just blame Whitey for everything. This sentence has five words. This sentence has five words. Here are five more words. Five word sentences are fine, but several together become monotonous. Listen to what is happening. The writing is getting boring. The sound of it drones. It's like a stuck record. The ear demands some variety. I just put this in because when I read it, I read it like a poet. And I just I instantly know that you can, 
no matter how something is written, you can introduce flow and creating nice up and down patterns in your speech just makes it listenable. So I just thought this meme was stupid. I finally realized it. People are prisoners of their phones. That's why they're called cell phones. Thank you for that insight. I definitely like all my decisive cultural knowledge to come from cheap wordplay. Thank you.